In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to obtain standardized path coefficients and R-square values when running path analysis using M+. What we have right here is a basic uh, syntax uh, file uh, where essentially we have the standard commands of title, data, variable, and model. Uh, you can see the title line gives us a title for the project. Data line is uh, instructing uh, the program to read in uh, data from this CSV file. Uh, it's called path data. Uh, the next line is reading in uh, the names of the individual variables. So it's associating the, the variable names with the uh, variables in the uh, CSV file. And then model, we have achieve uh, being predicted by mastery, interest, and anxiety. Interest being predicted by mastery, and anxiety being predicted by performance goals. So um, really quickly, I'm just going to run the analysis uh, just to kind of um, show you what it looks like. So as we kind of scroll down and look at our output, you can see that we get uh, our various uh, sample statistics for our variables. We get uh, model fit uh, information, uh, global fit uh, indices, such as the chi-square uh, test of model fit, the uh, RMSEA, CF CFI, and TLI, and uh, standardized root mean residual. Then down below, we have the unstandardized path coefficients along with their standard errors and test results. So that's about all that you get when you run the analysis, and there is no default for obtaining standardized path coefficients. Really briefly, though, we'll also look at the uh, diagram. We'll click on View Diagram, and uh, this is it right here. And so all of these values in here, these are the unstandardized path coefficients along with their standard errors. And if we go to view, you'll notice that um, you know, we have our parameter estimates clicked as well as covariance between the independence variables clicked. Uh, that's about it. You'll notice that if we wanted standardized estimates and we had um, specified that in our output or specified that in our syntax, if that's something we wanted, then this box right here or this, um, this um, would highlight here. And it's not highlighted uh, right here, so obviously we can't obtain the standardized estimates to have them in our figure. So what we'll do is um, to get around that or to address that, we'll just go back to the original syntax and we're going to use the output command. So I'm going to type in output colon and then um, down below I will type in std uh, yx and then a semicolon. So this is instructing uh, the program now to print out uh, the standardized path coefficients and basically the R square values. Um, so we'll uh, click on highlight this and run. We don't actually have to highlight and run, but that's just a little habit that I have. So I'm just going to uh, run it and we'll scroll down and you can see none of the other values have changed. We still have our unstandardized uh, coefficients in the model, but then when we scroll down, you can see we get uh, essentially the standardized model results. Uh, and so right here, uh, these are essentially the standardized path coefficients. Um, related to each of the um, pre uh, predictors of a given endogenous variable in the model. When we scroll down too, we get the R-square values for each of our uh, endogenous variables in the model. So these are the R-square values for, this is the R-square for uh, achieve, for interest, and then for anxiety. And just as a re reminder, R-square is just indicating the proportion of variation uh, accounted for by uh, the predictors. So now we'll go to diagram, click on view diagram, and so here's our uh, basic path model again. These are the unstandardized coefficients. We want the standardized coefficients. Now when we go to view and click on this um, right here, we get the standardized coefficients along with their standard errors. So that concludes this uh, brief demonstration of how to obtain uh, standardized path coefficients uh, and uh, R-square values using M+.